So I've been wanting to make this video for a while and that's about my first track day at the Audubon Country Club in Joliet, Illinois. I heard about this through the Everyday Driver Car Debate podcast with Paul and Todd. And for about $300, we got to go out on the track for six sessions of about 30 minutes each. I took my 2014 Mustang V6 manual and we left it 4 or 5 a.m. to go from Fort Wayne, Indiana to Joliet, Illinois. Uh, a little bit about the track, it's a 3.56 mile track, uh, 40 feet wide of tarmac. The longest straight is about 1,850 feet. If you do the math, that's a little over a third of a mile. And during my time there, I almost made it to 100 miles per hour, but not quite, made it up to about 95. And there's some classroom time in between each session, which was pretty helpful for some of us who are first time track goers. And there was even a car that went off early on in the day, uh, some sort of BMW. I'm sure one of you guys can help me out, let me know exactly what that is in the comments. But for now, I guess we'll just have a look at one lap when I was following a Subaru BRZ.
So between driving there, driving around the track and driving home, I put almost, I wanna say 300 miles on my car that day. And over a hundred of those were actually on the track. So that was pretty awesome. And I learned a lot about my car. Uh, a lot of people say tires should be the first modification you make. And I definitely found that to be true. My Pirelli P0 Nero all season tires just weren't getting the grip I wanted in the 70 or 80 degree temperatures from that day. Second thing was suspension. Uh, the Mustang 2014 is pretty high off the ground stock, so getting that center of gravity lowered a little bit would definitely help. Next would be brakes. My little V6 brakes were definitely starting to get mushy and had some pulsation. Uh, fourth would be transmission. The MT82 gets a lot of grief online and I mean for a good reason it's not the best Chinese transmission but it's cheap and it gets the job done so it's there the fifth thing I would add is power I've been telling myself since about a year after owning the car that I was gonna supercharge it and I don't know for track use I actually don't need power right away I need to be able to put down what power it does have first to be able to corner better so I originally was thinking about putting supercharger on during the spring of 2017, but I might reevaluate that now since it does some actual track driving. But I want to give a quick shout out to Mike Cardenas at Sweet Cars in Fort Wayne. He hooked me up with some track wrap, so it made cleanup really easy after those 300 miles of driving on the track when we got home. It was just a simple matter of ripping off the track wrap and my car was protected from bugs and stone chips, so thanks again, Mike.